Today I'll show you three HomeKit accessories that are life changing and as always a bonus smart home accessory that isn't HomeKit compatible but it's quickly become my favorite accessory for my smart home. Let's start off with these awesome lights. These are the Nanoleaf shapes. They are these hexagon shaped lights that you just put them in your wall change the order on however shape you actually want to make. What's also cool is I've got the hexagon, but you can also pick up the triangles or mini triangles on Amazon and combine them together. You can also see your music come to life because within the app, you've got this rhythm scene and what the lights will do is basically react to your music. So if the music is like boom, 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 the lights will do boom, boom, boom. All right, so look, check this out. I'm currently in Javi's house, which by the way, if you don't follow his YouTube channel, you have to check it out if you watch content in Spanish. So I'm here in front of the Nana Leaf shapes and I wanted to show you quick hands-on with them. All right, so here's a quick look with them. You basically connect them with one cable and you just connect it over there. And then you just simply keep adding shapes to them. You can add different shapes, different sizes, this is the one that we currently have at, you know, Javi's house. It's pretty cool. Cool about the lights is that apart from, you know, using uh, Siri, you can also control them manually with this little tab right here. You can, you know, make them brighter, make them dimmer, change the color, make them blue. You can make them white. You can do whatever you want. And what's also cool is this, this music button right here, because now it reacts to my voice or it reacts to music. Let's put some music on. So you can see it's reacting to the guitar from the HomePod. How cool is this? Anyways, these are the Nano Leaf lights, and if you want to see more of Javi's actual setup, I'll link, I'll link his video down below in the description. How awesome does this setup look right now? These lights didn't really match the style of the Lemon Home of my apartment, so I decided to just, you know, gift it to him. They look awesome in this setup. I'm actually kind of happy. Everybody go watch Javi's setup video right now. Next up on the list is the Eve Energy Strip. Now, here's the thing. If you want to build a true smart home, making everything smart around your home, you're gonna need to make things that aren't smart, smart. For example, there's certain lights in my house that isn't smart, but I simply put a smart plug to it, they become smart. So my recommendation to you is find a good balance between energy strips and actual individual smart plugs. Now this one in particular from Eve, you just gotta see it in person to see how good and how beautiful it is in person. Yes, I never thought I was actually going to say that an energy strip was beautiful, but I mean, you just gotta see this thing. Okay, first off, I know this is the messiest thing in my studio. All of this is usually hidden, and the Eve Energy It Strip is also always hidden, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you either way. So as you can see, it's made out of aluminum. It's super good quality, just listen to this. Really, really good quality. And as you can see, it is divided by three different strips, which act like three separate Eve Energy strips. And what's cool is you can actually manually open them and turn them off just by tapping on the bottom themselves. All three strips are separated on the actual home map. You can group them together. As you can see, I've actually got the fan, which is actually number one. Check it out when, as soon as I turn it on. That turns on and the fan automatically turns on. And I can just turn it off just like that. My YouTube lights as well, which are those big guys over there. You can turn them on. It takes a while because it goes through that, but check it out. You can see, and this one is as well. Boom, just like that. So all of these guys are actually connected to the Eve Energy Strip. Super compact, super durable, and love the quality on this thing. And what's cool about the Eve Energy Strip is that inside of your home app, you'll actually have three individual strips. So it's basically if you have three different like Eve Energies, this one, it combines it into one, but in the app, it will be divided. You can also group them together if you want, but what I like is for them to be individuals, like if I had, different products in my home. Now here's my bonus smart home accessory that isn't HomeKit, but it's quickly become my favorite product in my smart home. This is the Gobi T2 with dual cameras. It's basically a smart LED light strip that goes in the back 
of your TV. It has a camera and what the camera sees, it will portray the color of your TV on the actual light. So basically, if you're watching a movie that has an explosion, well, the, the light will show off that explosion. It's so freaking cool. I had the previous generation and I loved it, but this new generation has gotten so much better so much more accurate and so much brighter. Now this is only for movies, it's for all sorts of entertainment, including sports, series, and obviously gaming. It's a really immersive way to watch all of your entertainment. There's also a music mode, which will also react to the sound of your TV. You know, I've tried out a bunch of LED light strips, but this one is by far the brightest and most colorful light strip that I've ever used in my life. All right, so here are the actual LED strips in action. Let me actually turn down the volume. So you can see it's super, super immersive. The, the scene from Captain Marvel is probably one of my favorite ones to actually test down the lights. As you can see, the explosion with Captain Marvel and the way that she's reacting, it just flows so incredibly well. It's actually glowing as well, which is sick. The app itself um, is super easy to use. As you can see here um, is the brightness level, so you can turn it up all the way in order for it to be way more dramatic. The more dramatic it is, the less accurate it is. Um, sometimes I prefer, you know, a more you know, dramatic look or sometimes a more natural look. This is the movie mode, uh, the video mode itself, but you can also choose just to, you know, use a standard color so you can change the color to, you know, whatever you want. As you can see, they get bright. They get extremely bright. There's also like a bunch of cool scenes. So you can make, uh, let's take Aurora for example. It gets green and as you can see it changes colors. Um, there's Meteor Show. As you can see it just, just does, a, does a bunch of cool effects. Star, Snowflake, like there's so many fun ones. Fireworks, for example, check that out. Look how fun that is. Now a tip that I can give you to get this amount of precision is make the saturation and the brightness lower. Unless you want it like super dramatic, if you want the dramatic look, Gobi gives you the option to be dramatic and super bright and super colorful. What I like is for it to be super accurate to the movie that I'm actually watching. And as you can see, it gets very accurate. So my trick is to lower the saturation and brightness to around 25 to 35%. It obviously depends on your TV. Maybe it's way brighter or way lower. For me, it gets around that. So make sure that when you get it, you don't just crank it a lot. I mean, do it if you want, but for me, I like it accurate as I said. So if you guys are interested in the Gobi T2, links in the description. It's seriously awesome. I can't describe how awesome my sound system currently is. I've got my home pods, I've got the, the, the light strip on the sides, I've got my Gobi lights in the TV. I wish I could all invite you to sit in my couch and just enjoy how beautiful watching a movie is right now in my setup. Gobi, once again, thank you for making such an awesome product. Next up on the list is the button and the Eve button is basically the smartest way to control your home kit devices. It's basically a button that is tappable once, twice, or you can hold and those three different actions will can do different things. My favorite way on using it is I've actually got mine using double-sided tape on the entrance of my house. So whenever I actually leave the house, I simply tap once and all the lights of my home will turn off. And the coolest thing about it is that it's one of those accessories that non-techies love because of how it's simplicity. Apart from having it at the entrance, there's a lot of people that actually leave it at the living room table. So if they wanna turn on the lights from the TV. All right, so here's a quick hands-on. Um, here's the way that I actually have set up my Eve button. I simply have some double-sided tape. I just put it in the back. So if I want to grab it somewhere, you know, I can just stick it in and then stick it back just like that. So here's a look at the Eve button itself. It feels like aluminum, but it's actually not. It's, it's really good quality and it's just a really good looking button. Um, it feels glass, but it also isn't. And once again, you can program it once to do one thing or double tap to do another thing or triple tap to do certain scenes around your home. Pretty simple product, but super, super effective. I know you wanna continue the party, right? Well, the party is technically over, but if you wanna jump order more parties, if you wanna know more home kit accessories, tap these videos right here. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comments what other home kit accessories I should cover in the next video. Peace.